Dunlap Lures, results matter. Well, trapping otters and catching otters. Well, there it goes. At least I think it's an otter. Haven't really seen it yet. So that's how you catch, that's how you catch uh, otters a lot of times in fast moving water. They, uh, this, uh, that's why I always, on my traps, what I'll do is I file them down, have them fast, have the trigger, you know, on the upside, you know, because uh, they get traveling on here, they're like torpedoes anyways, they get traveling on this little bit high water, you know, uh, we had a bunch of snow, and it melted, makes that water move fast, and, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, they'll slip right on through, so I'm, I'm really glad to catch this one. Gonna Whoop. excitement and cold, deadly combination. Oh. Nice mail. RBG traps have finally come full circle. Yep, couldn't be happier. We'll reset this trap, get him tagged, we'll be all set. Gotta find me another stick for a stabilizer. So the reason I set this here was was twofold. There was this was all frozen up three to four days ago. Because I put this set in here, I think four days ago. There was shelf ice. The otter were coming up and they weren't going in the traditional spots where you'd think that they would go in, in you know where you could gap bigger spots down. So what I looked what for a spot where you know was the only gap going through because everything else is all clogged up. They could climb over it. This was the easiest, just flow through spot. That's why I picked this one. And, uh, you know, that's the thing is, you know, they, a lot of times you'll set spot, outer spots, and what'll happen is they won't go through them spots. They're going in a different spot that you're not, not set. So, you know, just, uh, if you're setting outer sets and you wait a long time and nothing comes through, you know, chances are that ain't where they're going. Usually I use stabilizers, but uh, we're going old school on this one. Got my stake down there. I set it on the first notch. So when he hits it, it starts to fire, like so. And you see this is the, the the side where the trigger is. I'm putting that upstream. If they're coming upstream, it don't matter. If they're going downstream, the mechanics of the trap will let it fire just a little bit quicker. And uh, you know, if I had it the other way, I might have had him by the tail, he might be gone. So. Gonna put that trap just like so, right back in there. It's 
got a little bit more water. It's a little bit more open than what it was. I don't want to open that up. Just gonna get close that gap a little bit. He's gonna be swimming right through. Gonna be uh, all over for the next one. In, in Michigan, our laws might be different than what yours are when you're using 330s. Um, you know, otter trapping on, you know, half submerged, whatever, check in your area to see what's, what's legal. Here, our laws are definitely probably different than what they are where you're at. But uh, we're all set up and ready for the next one. So, anyways, I'm going to grab my, my uh, prize and head back to the truck and hopefully get another one. Good looking otter.